I'm Emma Goldsmith and I take up the headship of the Dragon in September 2021, which I'm really excited about. We're really looking forward to moving to Oxford. It's going to be fantastic to have so many opportunities on our doorstep. My family are amused at the fact that I've said I might go back to rowing because I did row when I was at school. I, I, I might be tempted, a bit of paddle boarding, maybe a bit of sculling. I think, you know, living so close to the river, I, I, it would be rude not to really. Teaching was actually the last thing I was going to do. I come from a long line of teachers and so when you're surrounded by teachers you're thinking there must be something else that, that I can do. So I went down all sorts of different avenues. I looked at going into the law, I would have been a dreadful lawyer. Um, I looked into doing drama, I looked at the media and then actually started in my gap year I worked for an activity camp overseas and working with children and I suddenly thought no this this is actually what I want to do and I decided I did want to do my PGCE. I guess the, the greatest influence therefore was just working with children and my love of children because fundamentally they are at the core of education. I started my teaching career at Oakham School and um, having started teaching English, coaching netball, doing Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. I was there for two to three years and then I moved to rugby school. And that was really interesting because rugby had just gone co-ed. So it was a really interesting time of transition, um, which led me very, very easily on to managing the transition of co-education at Bloxham School, where I started up the first 13 to 18 girls boarding house. So you can see there's a, there's a definite thread of boarding throughout my career. And having run a girls boarding house at, at Bloxham, I became deputy head and then went on to be head of Winchester House. Boarding is at the heart of the Dragon and looking at the boarding houses you can really see their home from home because they're households um, and I think sometimes when we think about boarding we think about these huge drafty houses but the way in which it's structured at the Dragon is, is quite unique and I think does make the real home from home which any parent um, who has concerns about their child boarding for the first time can rest easy because it's such a homely environment. I do believe co-education is the best possible preparation for real life so you know how to form positive relationships with the other sex but also feel very comfortable within a working environment. I was very fortunate to be in schools that were in transition. So as I said, at rugby, they were just moving into co-education and similarly at Bloxham. So it's been really exciting to watch communities evolve. These schools that I worked in, and, and Dragon is, I would say, the top prep school in, in the country. Within these communities, you have the most talented, committed teaching staff and support staff. Um, and so they're my inspiration, these people who are willing to follow this vocation and do their very, very best for, for children. I think it's going to very much be at the heart of what we do, is preparing the children for this world. Um, and every aspect of their education has to develop the characteristics that are going to help them be successful. I've witnessed Dragon Quest, which is an extraordinary initiative, and I can see this going from strength to strength. The children learning all of these life skills and having that, such a range of opportunities. It's really exciting to see what we can build around that in terms of preparing children for their future lives. The most important characteristic is kindness for a child to develop because nobody can argue with that and it just prepares children for whatever situation it is to have that idea that actually being kind is, is what everybody should be aiming for. The children have got to feel very safe with you and I think the, the key thing is the interpersonality skills, the way in which the children can trust you, they can ask you questions, so the atmosphere that you create in, in that classroom is really important. But I think it's enthusiasm, it's being, not everybody has to be inspirational, but I think you do have to be able to um, encourage the children to do the best that they possibly can, can do. So there has to be a range of approaches, it's not one size fits all and, and knowing the children is fundamentally what's going to make a great teacher. We could sing about the amazing achievements of the children academically, sporting, musically, drama. However, what you want your children to be is really robust and have resilience and grit 
and that curiosity um, that when they leave the Dragon they're just ready to fly. Um, whichever school they go to, um, they're going to just get the most out of it. I think the characteristics of a school where every child is, is able to thrive needs to put the child at the centre of it and actually look at what the needs of the children are. And that can be in the classroom, it can be in terms of their emotional support, it needs to be in terms of the challenges that they're going to have. So each child needs to know what their next steps are. And that might be in their emotional support, but more importantly, or not more importantly, but certainly significantly in the classroom, knowing how they are going to improve. So that every child is actually on the journey of improvement and developing themselves at their pace, but that fundamentally they will do their very, very best. Family, as I've mentioned, is very, very important to me, so family time. But as a family, we love being outside. We love sport. Um, we love walking. Um, we, I love cooking, I'm very keen on cooking. Um, we love music, but I have to say sport is fairly dominant in, in our family. My biggest achievement or my proudest achievement, I think it has to be my children. Um, I have four children and, and I think I am very proud of my family because we're a blended family. And I think that very much reflects our society. The fact that um, I gave birth to two of my children and I am the step parent to um, my two younger children. And I think I'm proudest of the fact that we have created this very cohesive unit for our, our family to thrive. That is a really interesting question, what is ahead? Um, I've always been of the opinion that I'm not interested in the title, I'm interested in the role. And being the head is actually being the head of the community. It's not just the children who are in the classrooms, it's the parents, it's the full um, staff members, so all the catering and grounds, and it's the whole community. So you're the figurehead. But I think you have to be very careful to understand that you're just the steward of the ship for that period of time. Um, and you just have to do your very, very best to steer it in the best possible course for the time at which you're at the helm. As well as being a head, I've always felt it's really important to give back to the sector. So I am an active ISI inspector, um, particularly looking at boarding, and I'm also vice chair of ISCB, which is the examination board for common entrance and the pretest. So hopefully I have a wealth of knowledge to underpin my headship. No community can stand still, and I think it's going to be really exciting um, being at the start of a journey with the Dragon and seeing where we're going to go.